Year Five Literature, and something weird happened. By Pamela Rushby. Chapter One: A Very Boring Holiday. It was our first week back at school after the holidays, and our new teacher wanted us to write about what we had done over the holidays. You must have done some exciting things, she said. What did you do, Rosie? We went to the beach, said Rosie. We stayed in a caravan and surfed every day. Lovely, said our new teacher. Someone else? Everyone had done something good. Tom's cousin had come to stay. Tom's cousin was a skateboard champ. He had taught Tom some really good tricks. Yuki had been on a plane to visit her grandparents in Japan. Ben had been to a basketball camp. Everyone had done something good, except me. I had had the most boring holiday on the planet. My mom had to work, so I had stayed home day after day with my little sister Natalie. My grand came to look after us. We had done really exciting stuff: played on the swings at the park, listened to story time at the library, and swam in the local pool. We had watched DVDs. Played board games and taken the dog for walks. Boring. No one wanted to hear about that, but my new teacher did. Now, I want everyone to write about the most exciting day of your holidays. She said, as much as you can, but at least a page. Away you go. Away everyone went. Except me. Chapter two, making it up. I sat and looked at my blank page. I closed my writing book. Soon, my teacher came over. What did you do over the holidays, Jewel? She asked. Nothing, I said. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Said my teacher. Well, nothing that I can write about," I said. "You must have done something," my teacher said. But I didn't," I said. "I had a really, really boring holiday." My new teacher looked at me. Now she looked as if she felt a bit sorry for me. Well, if you really didn't do anything exciting. She said, "Then make something up," and she winked at me, and something sort of sparkled in the air around her. I watched her walk away. Make it up," she had said. "Make it up." All right then, I thought. I will. I'll make it up, and I'll really make it exciting. I thought about all the things I had done with Natalie and Grant. The park. The library, the pool, an ice cream at the shops, a pizza—not at all exciting, but maybe it could be. I pick up my pen and wrote. We went to the library for story time. That was true, but then I started to imagine. You wouldn't believe it. It was my favorite author, Anastasia Olivetti. She was making a surprise visit to our local library. I told Anastasia Olivetti I was a big fan of hers, but that I was just a little disappointed with the ending of her last book. So how would you have ended it? Anastasia Olivetti asked me. I told her. Anastasia Olivetti was so pleased with my ending. She said she would dedicate her next book to me. I read over what I had written. Pretty good, I thought. Great start. I went on. I wrote about going to the ice cream shop. Mister Jellity makes the best ice cream. But today, Mister Jellity was looking sad. People are tired of all my flavors, he said. They want something new. Something different. I can't think of anything different at all. 
I thought about it. How about putting jelly babies in the ice cream? I said, that would be different. Wow, said Mr. Jelly. That's a great idea. What an ice cream! I'll call it Joe's Jelly Baby Freeze. I wrote about Grant taking us to the pizza shack at lunchtime. Outside the pizza shack, there was a band and a lot of people. They all looked as if they were waiting for something, and they were. When Natalie and I pushed the door open, the band started to play. All the people cheered wildly. Natalie and I were the Pizza Shack's one million customers. We got free pizza for a year. Excellent, I thought. I had already filled two pages. My teacher looked over my shoulder. I knew you could do it, Joel. She said, "That's wonderful. Will you let me read it to the class?" And she did. So Joel had a very, very exciting holiday. Didn't he? She finished. She winked at me again, and again something sort of sparkled in the air around her. My paper was still sparkling when she gave it back to me. Chapter three. Something weird happens. Then I look at my paper sadly. I wish my holiday had been exciting. I thought. I wish I hadn't had to make it all up. Now, for homework over the weekend, our new teacher said, "I want everyone to write about your pet, but not the pet you have really got." She smiled. "I want you to write about the pet you would like to have. If you could have any pet you wanted, use your imaginations." I just stared at our teacher. Use your imaginations," she had said. I felt as if I had used up all my imagination already. I had imagined meeting a famous author and giving her a great idea. I had imagined inventing a great new ice cream flavor. I had imagined winning free pizza for a year. I had no imagination left. So I didn't even look at my homework on Friday night. I'll think about it later. I thought. On Saturday, Natalie, Mom, and I went to the library and the shops. Maybe we'll get a pizza as well," said Mom. We went to the library first. There was a crowd of people inside. What's going on? I asked. There's a famous author visiting. A girl said. An author, I said. Who? Anastasia Olivetti. The girl said. Anastasia Olivetti. I couldn't believe it. I had made up a story about Anastasia Olivetti visiting our library, and now here she was. My very favorite author was right here in our library. I just had to say hello to her. I went over to the little table where Anastasia Olivetti was signing books. I waited to speak to her, and then something weird happened. Anastasia Olivetti looked up and saw me, and she well, she seemed to know me. She jumped to her feet. Joel, she said, "My friend Joel." She gave me a big hug. I've used that ending you told me about. She said, "It's so good. My books are finished. I dedicated it to you. Thank you, thank you." This was weird. Weird. It was as if what I had made up had actually happened. I couldn't get out of the library fast enough. Chapter four. More weird things happened. Then something else weird happened. Natalie and I walked towards Mr. Jelly's ice cream shop. We could see his shop was full. In fact, it was more than full. There were people crowded inside and people out the front of the shop. Looks like Mr. Jelly's got lots of customers. 
said Natalie. Mr. Jellyty was serving ice cream as fast as he could, but then he looked up and saw us. He stopped serving. Wait, he said to everyone. Stop! Look, it's Joel, the inventor of Joel's jelly baby freeze. Mr. Jellyty called to me. Joel, wait. He rushed out with two huge ice creams in his hands. Joe's jelly baby freeze is selling like crazy, he said. Everyone wants it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Then Mom came along. Ready for pizza? She said. Let's get a family size shake special with double topping. As soon as we walk into the pizza shack, the manager came over to us, smiling. Ah, our pizza for a year winners, he said. Welcome. What would you like today? Pizza for a year, said Mum. Joe, did you win a competition? Why didn't you tell me? I, um, I forgot. I said. This was so weird, but the pizza was great. When we got home, I thought about it. What a day! How had it all happened? I thought, I didn't know, but it had all started when I told my new teacher I had nothing to write about, and she had told me to make something up, and then everything had come true. I thought and thought, but. I didn't know how it all happened. Joel, Mum called. Have you started your homework yet? Homework. I thought we had to write about the pet we would most like to have. Any pet at all? Would it? Could it? Could that possibly come true too? What if I wrote that I would like to have a horse? A horse. I could do better than that. What about an elephant, or a crocodile, or even a a oh wow even a dinosaur? I didn't know what would happen, but I was going to find out. I'm going to do my homework now, Mom. I called right now, and I did. I grabbed my notebook and I wrote and wrote, and something weird happened. That's the end of the story. And something weird happened. What do you think would happen? Talk to your class. Share about your ideas. The end.